Hey guys, Silent Thunder here with a quick guide on what you need for setting up TSM. A lot of people are curious which modules you should install. So I'm going to go over that quickly and also give you guys a link in the description below for what you need. So when I open up my Trade Skill Master and I take a look at the modules I use, I use everything by SAPU, which is one of the creators of Trade Skill Master. So the modules you need are accounting, additions, this is optional, I like it. It uh, gives you some features such as uh, if you sell an item, it displays how much it's sold for. And a vendor buying feature. So if normally you can only buy something in a stack of 20, this would uh, allow you to buy multiple stacks at once by typing in 100 instead of 20. Accounting additions, auction DB. This is important for building a database of item values, including your materials and other items you're going to sell. Accounting keeps track of what you sold. Crafting, if you want to craft items using Trade Skill Master, this one's important. Destroying, if you're prospecting, milling, disenchanting, really valuable at, uh, module. Item tracker, so that the add-on itself knows where your items are, whether you're crafting or have them on the auction house, sitting in a mailbox, in a bank, or guild bank. Mailing, if you want to quickly mail items in groups to one tune or another, you need this one. Shopping, if you plan on buying anything with Trade Skill Master uh, off the auction house, you'll need that. Warehousing, for storing items in your bank or moving items from your bank to your bag. And WoW Auction is another optional one, which is similar to the Auction DB. Uh, I recommend getting them all uh, so that the add-on itself works properly and you don't run into trouble later wondering why you can't craft something or something like that. So. After you've installed all of these add-ons, it's very important to build that auction DB database. So what you will do is go to the auction house, go to your auction DB tab, and run a scan. Now I find occasionally you'll disconnect while running a get all scan. It is a lot quicker than the full scan. Uh, one thing that I recommend you do is reload beforehand, before you do the scan, and then reload after scan and that should uh, should solve some of those DC issues. Another option instead of scanning the auction house which I recommend you do frequently at uh, various times of the day, morning, evening, noon. Another option to that would be to install the Trade Skill Master application. Now this is a, a background application that's not an add-on for World of Warcraft but a background application and what this does is scans the auction house automatically for you every hour. Uh, it saves you a lot of time and hassle from having to remember to run these scans in the game. And basically every time you reload, it will import all the data that it saves. And this is set uh, by default to save data for one day, I believe. Maybe, maybe it's set by default for 12 hours. Either way, you can change that. I have mine at one day. And every time I reload, that'll import all the data. It's very important that you have at least most of this stuff. All the modules I recommend, the TSM uh, application is uh, optional. But after you have that set up, you're pretty much ready to go with starting on making groups. Um, there is a profiles option. Uh, I just use the default, but you can create new profiles. I could name this one after this tune, right off. And basically, everything that I create for groups will just be under this one profile for this tune. And you can use the same profile for multiple tunes. That's another thing that you should know when you're getting started. If you want to create groups for separate tunes that you auction on, you should create separate profiles. Right, I hope this was helpful, and uh, I'll be back more with some more guides.